Okay, the while loop sounds great. However, there is another option in C programming which called for loops, uh, which can be write a loop. It's um, there are some um, in some sense for loop and while loop are the same. However, it the for loop can be write and can be writing in a more compact way. A for loop have several sessions there. The first session is initialization. That means it can initialize some of the variables here. Then it will go to the test expression, like in a while loop. Um, then if the test passed, we will execute the body part of the statements here. And after that, it will go to an updating session where, where you can update some of the variables, like in the while loop. The while loop are putting um, the uh, updating inside the statement. However, you can do in for loop to put in them here. They're just equivalent. Then up, after the updating will go into the test will go into this uh, test. Uh, and if the test passed, um, do that a body part and go back updating and test there. Remember that initialization part session will be um, executed once at the very beginning of the four. And for the rest of the part, uh, they will just ignore this. In okay, this is a way to implement a while um, loop uh, previous uh, in previous example with the four. Uh, you can see that this can be written in a more compact way. Okay, let's replace that code. Replace the while loop with the for. Um, they are just equivalent to each other. And you will see the progress there as well. And you will see the same results there as well. Okay, right now at this moment, I assume you already understand how to play with numbers and how to use the loops. Uh, it's a time uh, you can, we could check out what's happening for the toy there. Uh, you could see here we are in the using a combination of while loop and for loop there. Uh, at the beginning, the user are required to input a number. That number uh, will actually determine how many rows um, you can print out on a screen because in the while loop we are repeating um, with the indication of the I counter uh, number of times uh, the number equals to what the user has inputted. So that's the number of lines you are printing out because at the end of this loop we are printing out a new line there. Uh, however, the for loop here um, determines how many stars you can print out. So in that case, when i equals to one, we print out only one star. When the i equals to two, this loop for loop will be repeated twice. So in that case, you print out two stars there. And this goes on and on. For each of the line, you print different numbers of lines there. So that's what happening. Uh, for the toy example, um, if everything right, uh, you're supposed to have this uh, as the correct answers uh, for that program. Okay, that's the end of this lecture. Uh, I would like to uh, give you some reference of this random number. It's um, could give you a lot of fun, but I'm not going to introduce the details. You can search uh, if you are interested. And this uh, random number is not uh, required in our test.